Hello, my name is Joe, and today I will be taking you on a 360-degree tour of this award-winning Peugeot 5008 1.6 Allure. This is a used spotty car-proof car and comes with a metallic cumulus grey exterior, as well as a one-year's warranty and a one-year's roadside assistance. For more information, please contact a member of our team on 01244 398 600. That's 01244 398 600. As we move towards the bonnet of this vehicle, we can see the LED daytime running lights and fog lights as well as the chrome finishing in and around the radiator grille and the lion grey scruff plate which is a consistent feature around this car giving a clean and modern finish to this vehicle. This car has a very efficient 1.6 litre petrol engine and has an automatic transmission. As we move towards the right hand side of the car we can see the 18 inch Detroit diamond cut alloy wheels with the Peugeot badging in the centre. Looking along the vehicle, we can see the LED side indicator lights integrated into the door mirrors, as well as the chrome roof bar and chrome bar along the doors, which give this car that added touch of elegance. Taking a close look at the rear interior, we will see it's finished with the Mistral Amelia leather effect and cloth upholstered seats. You can easily access the back two seats by sliding the front three seats forward and folding the chair down using this lever. Panning around, we will see the three spacious and comfortable seats, as well as the three isofix points, making installing child seats very easy. As we pan round now, we will see the dual air conditioning, the 12 volt charging port, and the storage pockets on the back of the two front seats, which enhances the driving experience for your passengers. We also have the two picnic tables located on the back of the two front seats, which is not only very practical, but a nice feature for the kids to utilize. These will also just click back into place as they are magnetic. We also have the window covers on the windows which block the light out just in case anybody wants a little sleep in the back of the car. Leaving the car, we will see the tinted rear windows which are perfect for adding that extra bit of privacy and security to every journey. And heading towards the back of the car, we can't help but notice the LED 3D Peugeot signature glow red brake lights, the dual exhaust and the chrome badging which carries the chrome theme from the front to the back of this car. Inside the boot we have a staggering 952 litres of space when the two additional seats are folded down. This is perfect for multiple suitcases or large travelling trips with the whole family. The passenger seats can also be folded down providing even more storage space and we also have the pockets on the right hand side for extra storage. The two additional passenger seats are very easily constructed. All you have to do is pull this black handle towards you and the chair will slot into place. Fold the flooring back over and your seat is fully up. This is the same process for the adjacent seat. To dismount other seats, pull back the flooring and pull the red lever towards you. This will fold this chair right back into place and then all you have to do is slide the flooring back over and you have your 952 litres of storage space back. This car can achieve up to 60.8 miles per gallon which will be very cost effective. Heading into the driver's seat, we will see the full grain perforated leather steering wheel with the Iconite stitch detailing, the Peugeot iCockpit and the HD multimedia screen. Again, we have the chrome and cloth detailing around the dash and centre console, which completes the interior look of this car. Panning around towards the Mistral Amelia leather effect and cloth upholstered seats, which are perfectly designed for your extra comfort and support. You can easily adjust the seats to your preferred position via the handy controls located around the base of the chair. I hope you have found this 360 degree tour helpful. For more information, please contact a member of our team at the Chester branch. We will now explore the interior of this vehicle in much more detail in the second half of this video. But first, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Instagram page. Moving over to the right hand side of the driver's door, we will see the fully automatic windows for the driver, the passenger and the two rear windows. You can also adjust the wind mirrors on either side of the car via the handy controls at the top of this panel. Moving just behind the steering wheel to the right, we will see the ability to enable child lock. This is most ideal if you are carrying young passengers on board, as it will lock the interior doors of the car, meaning you cannot get out from the inside. You can also turn off the central alarm, as well as change the height of the headlights, which is very helpful. Moving back up now towards the steering wheel, we will see the controls for the Peugeot 3DI cockpit and the HD multimedia screen. This is very ideal and it will result in a safer journey for you and your passengers as you don't have to take your hands off the wheel or eyes off the road while driving. Just behind the steering wheel to the left we will see the cruise control limiter. This is mostly used for those long motorway journeys as it allows you to set the speed limit of the car meaning you can take your feet off the pedals without losing any speed. Moving up now towards the Peugeot 3D i cockpit we will see the beautiful HD display screen. 
You can choose multiple different displays at which this screen is operated, one of which being the navigation. This will show you the map as well as your route and destination when it is inputted into the navigation system. You can also choose a minimal setting as well as a personal. The minimal setting will purely just show you the miles per hour gauge in the centre of the screen and will not distract you with any other th the things. You also have the dials which will show you the speedometer on the left and the rev counter on the right. And as you can see, this car has done 28,000 miles, which is very good for a car of this age. Moving up now to the HD multimedia screen and taking a close look at the radio, where we will see it's fully equipped with DAB, AM and FM. You can save your favourite stations via the presets boxes in the centre of the screen, or you can choose from the ultra-long list of different stations. This is most ideal, depending on what type and what genre of music that you like listening to. Onto the aircon, we will see that you can control the temperature of both sides of the car. This is most ideal for preventing any future arguments with your passengers. You can also change how fast the air flows, as well as what point it is directed, being at you, your feet or the windscreen. Onto the navigation systems now, we will see the beautiful HD display screen. You can zoom in and out with ease, as well as being able to search your destination manually via the postcode or address. If you press the menu on the bottom left hand corner, it will redirect you to your previous destinations, your points of interest and your routes and waypoints. Any flickering of the screen is just interference with the camera and not a fault with the navigation system. You can also connect your phone for Bluetooth, allowing you to receive phone calls and text messages on the go, as well as being able to allow Android and Apple CarPlay, which is good for getting the navigation systems online on the car. You can also use the 180 degree colour reversing camera, which makes parking in tight busy city areas very easy, as well as having multiple different camera angles for you to choose from. Now, as we move away from the HD multimedia screen, we will see the piano tiles that we have just used to control the HD screen. Just below this point, we have the ability to demiss the front and rear windows, which is perfect for those cold winter months, as well as being able to lock all the exterior doors around the car for added security. Just below this point, we have the 12 volt charging port, as well as the USB port and a little bit extra storage space underneath. As this car is an automatic, we have an automatic transmission with a little bit extra storage space. Just behind this point, we have the dual cup holder and the butterfly winged leather storage compartment between the two seats, which when opened uncovers extra storage space, which is most ideal for any extra items that you may have. This Peugeot 5008 is prepared to the approved use standards with the 112 point jack by our fully trained Peugeot technicians. All our cars are subject to a £150 admin fee that covers the provenance check. Flexible finance packages are also available. For more information on this or for a personalised quote, please call 01244 398 600. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our Instagram page. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you soon here at Swansby Chester Peugeot.